see. I feel the pain and I feel the game. Let's get it. JV here with Real Life Fitness. The first workout of the year. Yeah, we uh we actually changed up the scenery today with Everybody Fitness here on Woodman. And they got a new look, y'all. Check it out. So, they still got all the machines over here. But they got a new look over here on the free weight area. You know, a little bit, a little bit longer. You know, they still working on it, but they got the leg area back here together. You know, uh, more, look like they're gonna have some more squat racks. Yeah, gonna have maybe two more squat racks over there they working on. They got all the leg machines back here in the back. They got some new machines over here. I don't know exactly what they are yet, but we definitely gonna check them out. Then we got the squat racks over here. Yeah. Which is our setup right now. First workout of the year, y'all. So, you know, uh, by myself today, I'm gonna go through a full body routine that I normally do for myself. So, deadlift and, uh, and some squats is what we're gonna hit first, y'all. So, you know, get the new year started right. Get a good workout in for the day. Let's get it, y'all. 2022 and we gotta and i'm gonna let y'all know some uh some new year's resolutions for the day for this year just you know some goals we got we gotta set some goals you know we gotta have some standards so you know what it is let's get it ah. so we didn't did our warm-up so far i did uh you know one warm-up one or two warm-ups on the squats one or two warm-ups on the deadlifts like i said get more into my full body routine 2022 this is the first workout of the year so you know we got all the equipment on we got the ankle pads we got the ankle pads on five pounds we got the wrist pads on it's like a pound each you know i got the weight vest on 20 to 30 pound weight vest like i said starting the new year we're trying to bring it in right so we're starting everything on on hard y'all and uh That'll be it for the day. So we're gonna get it in, y'all. All right. Start with our squats. Uh, you know, on our squats, y'all, man, you know, you got high and low bar squats. I used to do uh high bar squats, but I used to have a bar. Maybe if you can see up here on my neck. I used to kind of hold the bar right here. You know, right here when I squat it. You know, now I go here. I go here, uh, but when you have it on the high bar, man, the more weight you go up in, you start hurting yourself. You know, you start hurting that bone right there. So bring it a little lower, more between your shoulders, on your on your uh, on your traps and your shoulders. Hold it right there. It should be a good positioning and a good feel to it. The whole time, you got to keep your body tight, even going down and coming back up. You relax your body, but at the same time, you keep it tight. Uh, if you kind of know what I'm saying, you know, you kind of got to have that mind and muscle connection to do that. But, you know, we get into it. Let's get it, y'all. So that's the high bar. Remember, we're going to go low. Low bar. Right there. Right there. Stay tight. Feet, feet planted, butt down, shoulders down. Let's go. Breathe. Nigga, you said you don't know when to start, when to, when to, when to push yourself. Yeah. Honestly, man, to me, 
I always push myself. Every workout I do, I just get at maximum effort. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that's how you get the, the better results. You know, it's kind of just from pushing yourself on every every set you do. Every set, every rep you do, it has to be intense. It has to be hard. If it's too easy, it ain't working. You know what I'm saying? If it don't hurt, it don't work. No pain, no games. So, you know, I think every time you work out, you should push yourself uh, to, to kind of set your weight. You know, what weight you should do, you should be doing is uh, based on how many reps you can get the weight. So, say if you do 135, if you do one plate, 135, 135 pounds, and you get it for 10 to 15 reps. Add 10 pounds on each side and see how many reps you can get it for. You can definitely get it for six to eight reps if you can get one plate, uh, 10 to 15 reps. So if I get 10 to 15 reps, that means it's too light for me, right? It's too, yeah, it's too light. Up at 10 pounds and go from there. Now what happens if it's what happens if I uh, can't get like a full six to eight, but I get like three or four? Lower like, reps. Like you know, like partials. Lower reps is better. I mean, you know, when you add more weight, you're not gonna get the same amount of reps that you was getting with the lower weight. You know, your 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 reps is gonna go down. So you know, hey, that's good. You know, you just start hitting that weight until you're able to get it 10 to 15 reps. Once you get it there, you go up another 10 pounds. Or you go up heavy. You, you go up heavy. You gotta test yourself. Test your mic. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared of it. So what you're telling me? Play Mortal Kombat. Got you. Test your mic. Test Not your mic, baby. But get on the combat. On serious note, though. Uh, right. So let's say I go like heavy. Like let's say 140, right? Yeah. But I'm only getting like three or four. Right. So in the next few days, keep pushing until that becomes six to eight, and then keep pushing, pushing past that until it becomes ten to fifteen. Keep right? pushing it. Keep pushing it. If you know you can get it six to eight, that means you ain't scared of the weight. You can control the weight. You know what I'm saying? And you just get, you just go harder on the rest. That's it. Shoulder presses. Let's get it. So, first thing, you know, always find your grip. Sometimes I measure with my thumbs on the grooves and then I bring them in. Sometimes I measure with my pinkies on the smooth part of the grooves and then I measure from there. But from here, on the incline, I measure from here. Thumbs on the thumbs on the grooves. I'm gonna bring my thumbs in, just move my hands out just a little bit. I'm gonna put an arch in my back. Go for a little. Now, when I'm coming down, watch my, watch my chin, because I wanna go right, right underneath my chin when I press. Right here, lift. That's getting that upper chest way more. Slow, control. Close as I can to the neck. Up. And that's allowing me to hit more up here. You ever see them guys with all that chest muscle up here, Arnold Schwarzenegger and all of them? It's because they went as close as they could to their chin, stay in form, stay tight, and shoot it upwards towards that angle. Get a good squeeze on that one. All right? So, as a warm up set, we're going to put two plates in, start our first set. We do about three sets of 10 or more. Take a 
why everybody's so afraid or they make a spot a spotter negative you know and to me like it makes me feel like I'm weak maybe like I can't get the weight myself but that's, that's nah you shouldn't feel like that a spotter is is there to help you and protect you and also feed your ego but try to get the weight that you think you can't get that's what a spotter is for you know some, somebody when you want to push yourself and go extra you got somebody spotting you you know, you can get that extra push in and get that extra maximum effort. You know what I'm saying? So using a spot to me is good. I love having a spot. That means I'm gonna push myself for for more, you know? But sometimes people always like, no, no, don't don't spot me or you know, uh no don't touch the weight. But man, it's it's definitely a a boost to your workout to have a spotter. It's a blessing to have one. So if you got one, use your spotter. That's the thing about it. You know, you wanna, if you do, people cap themselves off at 10. Hey, I'm doing 10 reps. All right, 10 reps is good. Three sets of 10 or four sets of 10, that's good. But sometimes when you cap yourself off, you don't give yourself that maximum effort. Because once you get to 10, regardless if it was hard or not, you're gonna stop, right? You know? Yeah. You shouldn't do that. You should push yourself until you almost damn near can't get it no more. Uh, so what, like till failure? To a failure. I mean, especially if you have a spotter. If you have a spotter, you can really go to a failure. When you're by yourself, you kind of don't want to go to a failure, especially with heavier weight, because you won't be able to get it off of you. You won't be able to get the weight up off of you. But if you have a spotter, use the shit out your spotter. That way, hey, go to a failure. Your spotter gonna protect you. Come lift the weight up off you when you can't get it. That's to a failure. That tears the muscle, shocks the muscle, rest the muscle, Repair the muscle. Let's get it, y'all. Last set, y'all. We did three sets, about 10. Uh, you know, uh, 10 or more. You know, uh, I'm doing as many as I can with the 315. Then I go to 225 and finish my uh, my reps. You don't have a spotter, so you know, you gotta be better safe than sorry, y'all. My set, let's get it. The one was heavy, so let's be better smart. Let's go down to 275 and finish out. Let's get it. Remember, because you can't get the weight, I mean you're weak. You just got to be better safe, you know. We've been pushing ourselves. We did squats, deadlift. We did a couple sets, a couple reps of the 315. We ain't mad at it. Drop it down to 225, finish up. How we get stronger, y'all. How we get stronger, keep it moving.
sets, y'all. We broke that last set down. We broke that last set down, y'all. Hit as many reps as we could. Each set, we feel good, y'all. Move on the shoulders, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. We on the shoulders, y'all. Shoulders, we're gonna do some lateral raises. Front and side lateral raises. And then we're gonna hit the chest machine with some more upper chest, y'all. Let's get it, my set. Got this thing behind my back for support, y'all. Brings me out more. Able to hit my front, my front and my side delts a little bit better. Better to concentrate on, you know? Let's get it. Remember, on the front lateral raises, you don't need no heavy weight. I like to stay with 15 to 20 pound dumbbells. That way you don't tear up them shoulders. Shoulders down, watch your back. Remember, y'all, we just keeping it moving. We stand at a steady pace, y'all. First workout of the year, y'all. We full bottling. Y'all see, I didn't came up out the weight vest, uh, the wrist, the wrist uh, weights. I done took them off. I still got the leg ones on. You know, the five pounds. We trying to get it, y'all. Start the game off on hard, y'all. You never know what easy feel like. Let's get it. Concentrate on, on form, y'all. Good. That was a good hit, y'all. Let's get it. Yeah. My set. Up, baby. Control. Control that shit, baby. Control it going up and you control it coming down. It's the only way to hit this shit. It's how you get big, y'all. No pain, no gains, y'all. 2022. I feel the pain and I feel the gains. Let's get it. My set. See, just remember the uglier the face, the better the workout. Ooh. Hey, you ain't really looking ugly. You ain't doing something right, baby. You gotta be looking ugly. Let's get it. Mm. 
six, y'all. We're gonna drop it down. Really pump that blood into that chest <clears throat> by flexing, <clears throat> squeezing it. Same thing with the shoulder. Flex, pump that blood into it, y'all. Like I said, shock that shit, tear that shit, rest, repair that shit. Let's get it. We didn't hit chest again, we didn't hit shoulders. Man, we really banging it out today, full body status. We're gonna do some triceps, some biceps, end it with back. And then we out of here, y'all. Probably just a tad bit of core. Y'all know how we got to do it. Full body. We still got to go to work. 2022. This is the first workout of the year. Let's get it, y'all. Real life fitness. Hey, make sure you guys subscribe and like, baby. Y'all know how to do it. Ring that bell, baby. Let's get it. Stay informed, y'all. Keep your elbows isolated. out of the year y'all we banged it out today we had the level definitely on hard we had the weight vest on we got the leg weights on we had the, the uh, wrist weights on we really banged it out today so you know 2022 you know new year's resolution we got to get stronger we know get the body all the way right y'all we want to get the core right we want to build up our cardio, our endurance. You know, uh, we want to get four plates again on that incline. You know, big R. We want to hit that 225 for five this year. You know, Nick on the camera. You know, he want to cut his weight down. He want to get stronger. You know, we all got New Year's resolutions and goals this year, y'all. You know, I want to be able to teach, show y'all more, you know, on the channel. Give y'all good content. You know, we got a lot going on this year, y'all. Just everything going, y'all, so we can go all the way around. You know, stay motivated, stay blessed. You know, stay building, y'all. That's what it's about. Showing y'all these workouts. It's just what I love to do. Being able to show y'all the growth. You know, show y'all the good and the bad of how we doing this. But I'm going to end it at that, y'all. And you know, you already know. 
if you like the videos make sure you like share comment and subscribe let's get it up this year y'all subscribe baby you know one time for the one time let's get it and subscribe ring that bell baby let me see you guys on the next one let's get it 2022 ah let's get it